Natalie Andreu is a professional dancer. She dances in theatre shows, films and television programmes. At the moment, Natalie lives in London and works in a theatre in the West End. People come from all over the world to see musicals in the West End of London. And Natalie worked hard to be a successful dancer in one of these musicals. I grew up in a small town outside of London. My father was born in Cyprus and my mother was born in London, in England. They married uh, in their early 20s in 1983 and I was born on the 14th of June 1985. I started dancing when I was four years old, so I was very young, uh, but it was very exciting for me. Ballet was the first lesson I went to and I went about three times a week. I studied dancing for years, but when I was about 10 years old, I wanted to stop. I didn't like my teacher, but my parents said, keep dancing, and I did, and I'm happy I did. Um, it became fun again. I first thought about becoming a professional dancer at 16, but my parents wanted me to stay at school and study for my A-level exams, which I did. And then after my A-level exams, when I was 18, I first decided to become a professional dancer. After she left school, Natalie moved to London to study. I studied dance and musical theatre at a dance college in central London. The course was three years long. It was very tiring. Um, I studied lots of different types of dance. I studied tap, ballet, jazz, hip hop, singing and acting. It was very, very good fun though. A very exciting, uh, very positive experience. I graduated in 2006. When she finished college, Natalie looked for work as a professional dancer, but her first job wasn't in London. About a month after I graduated from dance college, I got my first job as a professional dancer in a Christmas show called Jack and the Beanstalk. It was for three months in a town called Colchester in England. I earned about £300 a week which was good for a first job, but it was very exciting and a great first job where I learned a lot. Natalie loves her work, but she knows that life as a dancer isn't always easy. There are ups and downs, Life can be difficult as a professional dancer. When I am dancing, it's very tiring and I work very long hours. I also worry about what I eat. Natalie is also worried about injuries. When she's injured, she can't work. So it's important for her to be fit and healthy. So when she's not at work, Natalie still goes to dance classes. there are times when Natalie doesn't work as a dancer. Sometimes I can't find a job as a dancer, so I work in shops or as a waitress. I worked in Harrods once. I worry about money too sometimes. In 2007, just after she graduated, Natalie got a short but very exciting job. I was really lucky because my second job was as a dancer on the film Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia was one of the most successful British films ever. The film earned over $600 million. 
The film starred the American actresses Meryl Streep and Amanda Seyfried, but many of the other actors were British. The writer, director and producer were also British. The film is about a wedding on a small Greek island, and there's a lot of dancing and singing in the film. Unfortunately, I didn't go to Greece. They made a lot of the film at Pinewood Studios, just outside of London. Pinewood is one of the most famous film studios in the world. It's the home of the James Bond films. They filmed Mamma Mia inside the huge 007 studio. They built a Greek village inside the studio. It was amazing. Natalie only worked on the Mamma Mia film for two months in 2007, but in 2009 she was in Mamma Mia again, this time in the theatre. Three years after I graduated, I got a job in the West End theatre production of Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia opened in the West End in 1999. Today, you can see the show all over the world. There are over 30 actors and dancers in the show. Hundreds of thousands of people see the show every year. It's an exciting show to watch, and it was Natalie's favourite dancing job. It was a brilliant job. I was in Mamma Mia for one year, and it was fantastic. I had a great time. 